Time to plant some garlic, y'all. You grow garlic? Welcome back to New Garden Road, where I share my love of gardening with you in a way that I hope will inform, inspire, and elevate you. Subscribe to my page and click the notifications bell to stay up to date on all the garden action coming at you. Hold on, check it out. Let's see how much garlic I got home in this bag. Yeah! Got me about 17 heads of garlic, y'all. I didn't save enough from last year's crop. You can do that pretty easy. Grow you a hardier strain of homegrown garlic. When you're picking out your garlic cloves, you wanna pick out the biggest, most robust ones that you can find. Look for some that have the skin on there. This looks a little funny though. I don't think you plant the whole head of garlic just like that, but we are gonna plant nine per square foot. That's a good spacing for garlic. You can kind of see here, that's what I'm trying to represent, really. Each of these squares in this grid here, it's four inches, it's four by four. When uh, spacing on a crop says it can be planted, say, every four to six inches, this would be suitable. It's got four square inches to grow, and I can fit nine on that measure in a square foot. See that there? That's a single clove of garlic. We're gonna take all these heads of garlic, and we're gonna break them apart, and we're gonna plant the biggest, juiciest, most awesome looking cloves that they have to offer us. And that, my friends, is gonna turn into this right here. You don't want to separate the garlic until it's planting time. That's gonna ensure the most viability. You can see this clove of garlic. That's an individual clove right there. And you see that protruding? That's the sprout. As you're breaking these apart for planting, if you see this, you need to be really careful. If you're shopping, I probably would try to avoid these. However, if that's all you can choose from, or if that's what you have, then just be really careful as you break them apart. You don't want to break off that shoot. Very gently, just kind of pop that guy out. This part here, that's where the roots are going to form, okay? Oops. This end is up right here. This end is down. That's the original root zone of this head of garlic. You break it off you kind of see that pattern repeated. Um, yeah, so check it out. I'm gonna break all these guys up right now. Oh my goodness, look at that mess of garlic, y'all. Uh, you gotta take off some of the paper just to really get in there, but you don't take off all the paper skins. Yeah, this soil is all ready to go. I mended this a couple weeks ago with some compost and fertilizer. Now it is ready for planting. This, my friends, is soft rock phosphate. This is rated as a 030. Just take a little bit, and I'm gonna sprinkle that in the hole before I take my garlic clove and put it on top. And that's gonna stimulate vigorous, healthy root growth. Soft rock phosphate, very simple amendment, not very strong, all natural, organic. Let's do it. I know you always see me wearing gardening gloves. They protect your skin. Now, this is a very thin yet protective piece of gardening equipment. There are a lot of abrasives in the soil. You never know what's gonna be in there. Fire ants, sharks, dinosaurs, Hey, anything's possible. So wear you some gloves. All right, this is one of my favorite gardening tools right here. This is my Hori Hori knife. Uh, as you can see, it does have some measurements listed. That can be helpful. In this case, you're planting some garlic. You're gonna plant that at about one to two inches in depth. So this can help give me an idea of the depth as I'm moving along on my planting. Because I'm gonna, about like that right there, drop in my soft rock phosphate and then dropping my garlic clove. And I don't know about how deep it is because I got these measurements on my handy Hori Hori knife. And I'm gonna go ahead and get the, the planting holes prepared, drop in some soft rock phosphate like I was showing you, and then I'll just go drop, drop, drop on the garlic cloves in the raised bed. Yeah, that's it. Plant some garlic, y'all. You're gonna plant them about one to two inches deep. General rule for planting bulbs including garlic, things of this nature, is you're gonna plant it twice as deep as they are wide. I really like systematic processes in the garden. Just felt like it makes things more efficient. 
All right, guys, that's a wrap on planting my garlic. I got all those in, made several passes with my water wand, gave them a good watering, deep soaking. They're gonna need about an inch of water a week, all right, through the, the growing process. They won't be triggered to bulb until they get some temperatures between 32 and 50 degrees. That's why we plant those in the fall. They'll mature in May. Until then, I'm gonna keep them watered and I'm gonna feed them with a high nitrogen fertilizer. I went ahead and put a nice layer of pine straw mulch on the bed. That's gonna help keep the weeds out. The weeds can steal nutrients. It's gonna help keep moisture in. It's gonna give them a nice top dressing, a coat, a little blanket, keep them cozy through the winter. Thanks so much for watching y'all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some tips and I sure hope you're gonna grow some garlic. If you like what you see and you wanna see more of it, subscribe to my page. Leave me a question or a comment below and as always, keep it organic.